क्या आप सहायक मंडल इंजीनियर या कनिष्ठ इंजीनियर की तैयारी कर रहे हैं तो यह वीडियो आपके लिए ही है नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं त्रिवेंद्र कुमार आज की वीडियो जो कि थियोडोलाइट पर आधारित है मैं आपका स्वागत करता हूं तो चलते हैं पहले सवाल की थियोडोलाइट इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट यूज फॉर मेजरमेंट थियोडोलाइट एक प्रकार का इंस्ट्रूमेंट है जिसका इस्तेमाल किस चीज के मेजरमेंट के लिए किया जाता है बोथ हॉरिजेंटल एंड वर्टिकल एंगल बी डिस्टेंस ओनली सी हॉरिजेंटल एंगल ओनली एंड डी वर्टिकल एंगल ओनली और इसका सही जवाब है बोथ हॉरिजेंटल एंड वर्टिकल एंगल इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग टेलीस्कोप कैन बी रिवॉल्व थ्रू अ कंप्लीट रेवोल्यूशन अबाउट सिस्ट हॉरिजेंटल एक्सेस इन वर्टिकल प्लेन निम्नलिखित में से किस टेलीस्कोप में किस थ्योटोलाइट में जो टेलीस्कोप है वो अपने हॉरिजेंटल एक्सेस का कंप्लीट 360 डिग्री का रेवोल्यूशन कर सकता है वर्टिकल प्लेन में और इसके ऑप्शंस हैं ट्रांजिट थ्योडोलाइट नॉन ट्रांजिट थ्योडोलाइट बोथ ऑफ द एब या नन ऑफ द एब और इसका सही जवाब है ट्रांजिट थ्योडोलाइट सेंसिटिविटी ऑफ बबल इन थ्योडोलाइट डिपेंड्स अपॉन थ्योडोलाइट में जो बबल होता है उसकी सेंसिटिविटी किन बातों पर निर्भर करती है The first one is radius of curvature of the internal surface of the tube. Second, diameter and length of the bubble tube. Third, viscosity of the liquid used inside the tube. Or D, all of the above. And the right answer is all of the above. If four bearing of a line is north 30 degree east, then the back bearing of the line AB. अगर किसी एक लाइन AB है उसका फोर बियरिंग दिया हुआ है इन 30 डिग्री ईस्ट तो इसका बैक बियरिंग क्या होगा और इसका सही जवाब है साउथ 30 डिग्री वेस्ट पर यह कैसे आया तो चलिए इसका एक्सप्लेनेशन देखते हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बियरिंग क्या है बियरिंग मेजर्ड इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द प्रोग्रेस ऑफ द सर्वे आर नोन एज फोर बियरिंग एंड बियरिंग मेजर अपोजिट टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द सर्वे आज नोन एज बैक बियरिंग और बियरिंग क्या है द बियरिंग ऑफ ए लाइन इज द डायरेक्शन विद रेस्पेक्ट टू अ गिवन मेरिडियन एंड मेरिडियन मेरिडियन इज अ फिक्स्ड रेफरेंस लाइन जैसा कि आप पिक्चर में देख पा रहे होंगे तो यहां आप देख पा रहे हैं कि अगर लाइन ओ ए के लिए क्यूबन जो है वह फोर बियरिंग है और दूसरे तस्वीर में लाइन ओ ए के लिए जो क्यू है वो बैक बियरिंग है तो इसका निकालते कैसे है कैलकुलेशन कैसे करते हैं वो देखें If the four bearing of a line is given uh, as the quadrilateral bearing, तो back bearing जो होता है वो numerically equal होता है four bearing के. So just change north को south change कर दें and vice versa. उसी प्रकार east को west कर दें और उसका vice versa. यहाँ पर question में four bearing of a line in 30 degree east दिया हुआ है. तो जो explanation अभी मैंने आपको बताया है उसके हिसाब से north की जगह south कर दें. 30 डिग्री की जगह 30 डिग्री हो जाएगा और ईस्ट की जगह वेस्ट हो जाएगा अतः इसका बैक बियरिंग हो जाएगा ईस्ट 30 डिग्री वेस्ट इफ द मैग्नेटिक बियरिंग ऑफ द सन एट ए प्लेस एट नून इज सउदर्न हेमस्फेयर इज 167 डिग्री देन द मैग्नेटिक डिक्लेनेशन एट दैट प्लेस इज अगर सन का मैग्नेटिक बियरिंग सौदर्न हेमिस्फेयर में नून के समय 167 डिग्री है तो उस समय उसी प्लेस पर मैग्नेटिक डिक्लेनेशन क्या होगा और इसका सही जवाब होगा 13 डिग्री ईस्ट पर यह आया कैसे एक्सप्लेनेशन देखें ट्रू बियरिंग ऑफ द सन एट नून इन सौदर्न हेमिस्फेयर इज 180 डिग्री होता है इसके साथ साथ ये भी याद कर लें कि ट्रू बियरिंग ऑफ द सन एट द नून इन नॉर्दर्न हेमिस्फेयर 360 डिग्री होता है अब चले सवाल की ओर मैग्नेटिक डिक्लेनेशन का फॉर्मूला होता है ट्रू बियरिंग माइनस मैग्नेटिक बियरिंग तो यहां पर हमारे सवाल में दिया हुआ है मैग्नेटिक uh, बियरिंग दिया हुआ है तो मैग्नेटिक बियरिंग अगर हम ट्रू बियरिंग से निकाल लें तो जैसा कि पहले बता चुके हैं कि सौदर्न हेमोस्पेयर में जो ट्रू बियरिंग है वो वन डिग्री है तो वन डिग्री माइनस वन डिग्री तो रिजल्ट हो गया थर्टीन डिग्री सिंस डिक्लेनेशन इज पॉजिटिव अगर डिक्लेनेशन पॉजिटिव होगा तो वो ईस्ट वार्ड होगा हेंस मैग्नेटिक डिक्लेनेशन इज 13 डिग्री ईस्ट 
the scale plate of theodolite is the upper plate the lower plate both of the above or none of the above and the right answer is the lower plate the bubble tube parallel to the telescope of the theodolite should be more sensitive since it controls vertical axis horizontal axis axis of the bubble tube or none of the above and the right answer is horizontal axis the multiplying constant of the theodolite is and the right option is option d f oblique i the additive constant of the theodolite is the additive constant of the theodolite is f plus d for tachometer the additive and multiplying constant is and the right option is 0 and 100 angle between the prolongation of the proceeding line and forward line of a transverse is called deflection angle angle between the prolongation of the proceeding line and succeeding line of a traverse is called include angle most accurate instrument for measuring horizontal and vertical angle is and the right option is theodolite Theodolite, the line of collination is, and the right option is perpendicular, the trunnion axis. Left swing is not much favored in the theodolite survey because because the reading increased clockwise. How does the size of the theodolite is specified? The option is by the length of the telescope. by the diameter of the vertical circle the diameter of the upper plate or diameter of the lower plate and the right answer is the diameter of lower plate convert the whole circle bearing 336 degree 40 minutes to reduce bearing and the right option is in 23 degree 20 minutes west and you can see here the whole circle bearing in this system the bearing of line is measured from the north in the clockwise direction so and the reduced bearing or jaise ki quadrilateral bearing uh, quadrilateral bearing bhi kehte hain reduced bearing is measured either from the north end of or the south end as the case may be which is nearer to the line the reduced bearing of the line can vary from 0 degree to 90 degree so here reduced bearing will be 360 degree minus 336 degree 40 minutes so 23 degree 20 minutes so reduced bearing is north 23 degree 20 minutes generally the size of the theodolite varies between and the right option is 8 cm to 25 cm in transit theodolite the line of sight can be reversed by revolving the telescope through 180 degree in vertical plane the process of turning the telescope in vertical plane through 180 degree about its trunnion axis or horizontal axis and it is called it is called uh, plunging or and reversing the process of turning the telescope in horizontal plane if the telescope is rotated clockwise direction is called and it is called right swing which one the correct sequence of the temporary adjustment of the theodolite and the right option is for setting centering leveling and elimination of parallax magnetic bearing of a line ab is 132 degree 45 minutes if the magnetic declination is 10 degree 20 minutes west the true bearing of the line is and the right option is 122 degree 25 minutes explanation is given here the calculation here magnetic bearing of line is 132 degree 45 minutes so declination will be 
टेन डिग्री ट्वेंटी मिनट्स बेस्ट सो टू टू बियरिंग विल बी वन थर्टी टू डिग्री फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स माइनस टेन डिग्री ट्वेंटी मिनट्स सो वन ट्वेंटी टू डिग्री ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स If end points of a line are free from the local attraction, the difference between fore bearing and back bearing of the line is, and the right answer is 180 degree. The whole circle bearing of a line is 287 degree 15 minutes. The quadrantal bearing of the line is, and the right answer is n 72 degree 45 minutes west. But how it comes? And the calculation is given here. Conversion of whole circle bearing of a line to 87 degree 15 minutes to so reduced bearing will be equals to 360 degree minus 287 degree 15 minutes. That is 72 degree 15 minutes. The quadrant will be in northwest, so answer will be 72 degree 45 minutes west. Angle between the two bearing and the magnetic bearing at the time of observation is known as magnetic declination. The angle between two bearing and magnetic bearing of the uh, at the time of observation is known as magnetic declination. It is very important. Magnetic declination is the difference between, and it is the difference between true meridian and magnetic meridian. The line joining places of equal magnetic declination is called, and it is called isogonic line. The line joining places of zero declination are called, and that is called agonic lines. The direction of a line relative to a given meridian is known as, and that is known as bearing of line. The dip of the compass needle is. The dip of the compass needle is. Varies from place to place and zero at equator and maximum at the poles. Magnetic declination is magnetic declination is it, it varies from place to place. Which of the following instrument is used for centering of theodolite in windy condition? And that is optical plummet. The ratio. of focal length of the objective to a stadia interval is called and it is called multiplying factor the least count of a theodolite is the least count of theodolite is 20 second calculate the distance between the instrument and the staff reading are 1.56 meter and 2.05 meter and 2.56 meter the multiplying constant is 100 and additive constant is 10 And its right answer will be 110. But how it is calculated? The calculation is given here. In tachometry, the multiplying constant k is the ratio of the focal length of the objective lens and the stadia hair additive contract uh, constant. C is the sum of the focal length of the objective and distance of the object uh, lens to center of the instrument. So the distance h is calculated as h equals to k into s plus c. So here calculation k equals to 100 multiplying constant s equals to 2.56 minus 1.56 equals to 1.0 and c equals to 10. So h equals to 100 into 1.0 plus 10, so 110 meters. Which method of surveying distance and elevation involves measuring the vertical angle to the graduation on a staff using the principle of trigonometry? And the right answer is tachometry. While using a theodolite, how to change reading on horizontal circle while measuring horizontal and vertical angle? And the right answer is upper clamp loose and lower clamp tight. A telescope is said to be inverted. and the right option is when vertical circle is to be right hand side to the observer and bubble is down in traverse survey closing error means traverse surface closing error means the actual distance between which the traverse fails to a well conditioned triangle has Angle not less than 
and not more than respectively and the right option is 30 degree and 120 degree means a well conditioned triangles has an angle not less than 30 degree and not more than 120 degree respectively the sum of interior angles of a closed traverse is equal to and that is 2 n minus 4 into 90 degree. An azimuth is an azimuth is a true bearing. In the prismatic compass, whole circle bearing are calculated. If four line of a bearing is 30 degree, calculate the back bearings of the line, and it is 210 degree. And the given uh, de uh, definition is above. For from the formula, you can easily calculate it. If the ob, uh, observed four bearing of a line AB is 2 uh, degree 30 minutes, then the back bearing of the line it is it can be easily calculated and it is 22 degree 30 minutes. The graduation marked in the surveyor compass varies from and it varies from 0 degree to 9. If the latitude and departure of survey line are negative. Then the direction of the mentioned line in whole circle bearing system will be in the range of and 180 degree to 270 degree. A smart station is what is a smart station? A smart station is a total station with integrated GPS module. If four bearing of a line AB is 35 degree and that of a line BC is 15 degree, then in the included angle between the line will be and the right option is 160 degree and how we came it the calculation is given here you can see the calculation the cross here in the surveying telescope are placed and that is much closer to eyepiece than objective lens Sensitivityness of a level tube is designated by radius of the level tube. Wadditch rule is applied to Wadditch rule is applied to closed traverse for adjustment of closure. Which type of error is represented by the closed traverse? If the algebraic sum of all latitude of the line is zero, and the right option is no error. The angle of dip is at equator and magnetic pole is, and it is zero degree and ninety degree. The value of whole circle bearing varies. The value of whole circle bearing varies varies from zero degree to three. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, then write your comments and share with your friends. Thank you, dear.